Hey guys, tonight we're doing a Cold December Night by Michael Bublé off his album uh, from last Christmas. Uh, this is a request, and I wanted to do it for a while. It's a really good song, so um, I finally sat down and learned it today, and I'm going to try to teach it to you. Uh, as always, I'm going to run through it first, and then I'll break it down after for you. So here we go. Not my best run through, um, but uh, it's all there. So those are the parts that I'm going to teach. I know I was a bit sloppy near the end of the chorus, but I'll do that again when we go through it. So um, just to start off, it's pretty... Uh, the easiest part is probably the verse. So, but then um, next to that is this part. So that's what we're going to start with. It's the intro and it's the part everyone knows. So I'm going to break it down in your right hand first and then I'll go to my left. So, so it starts with an E flat and a B flat together with one and five. And then it goes to G with the third finger. Okay, so it's E and B flat, G, and then quickly E flat, B flat. And then it goes to D and G. Okay, so. And then it goes D, B flat, back up to E flat and G. And then it goes E flat, B flat, G when it jumps down here to the A flat in the left, but we'll get to that. Um, and then you jump, you move your whole hand, so just lift it up and then go to uh, an A flat, C, E flat, and G. So that's an A flat seven, major seven. Um, so you'll hit that when you hit the F in your left hand and it makes a really nice chord. But don't hit the G with it at first, but do uh, A flat, C, and E flat, okay? F, G, F, E, chord, F, G, F, E, flat, sorry. And then back to the beginning. That's the right hand of that, and in the left, on the first two parts, it, it just stays as an E flat and B flat. Even with that change to the minor, what it sounds like there, that's only in the right hand, the left hand stays just E flat and B flat. And then it switches to an octave of A flat, okay? in between if you'd like with your uh, second finger. Okay, that 
that's the intro part um, and take some time with that that took me a while to get actually because um, it's weird timing the way it's written in this music that I'm gonna upload a link to um, it's not free but I'll upload the link anyway so you can look at the first page at least um, but anyway in this music it's written differently I just kind of use the chords as kind of a framework for how I was gonna uh, teach it um, and learn it and then teach it so it's not exact but if the way it's in it's like weird, I don't know. I didn't want to teach it that way. So this way I think is better. Okay, and then after that part, it goes into the next, uh, which is the verse. So when he starts singing, it's just chords. Okay, so that's in the right hand. Um, it's an E flat. So it's B flat, E flat, and G. So it's an inverted E flat chord. So B flat, E flat, and G. You hit it twice, and then you drop just the E flat down to, uh, with your second finger, you'll play the D here with the B flat and the G on top. So B flat, D, G. So it goes one, two, two. Okay? Um, Just shift your position uh, this way and drop your second finger to the C and your thumb on the A flat. So A flat, C, E flat, G. Um, and that's uh, an A flat major 7. Or, yeah, I think so. Um, anyway, so it goes. On that one, you just drop out the G and have an A flat, C, and E flat. And then I add in and just jump up to an F with my fourth finger. Just for the verse, and it keeps going like that. Um, in the left hand, all it is is an E flat, an E flat again, an A flat. It's the same chord progression throughout um, the intro and the verse. Um, it's the same chords, E flat, E flat, A flat, A flat, F. Um, and it's an F minor, uh, yeah. But okay, so just one more time. Okay, so that's the verse and it keeps going whenever he's singing the verse parts. Um, and after that, there's a little bridge into the chorus, or pre-chorus type thing, which is this. And it's like the each year part. Um, so in the right, uh, actually I'll just play through this one. Okay, so that's the each year verse in line. Um, uh, so here it is. Uh, G, B, and D is just a standard G major chord. Okay, and you play that twice. And then you just move um, these fingers up to the C and an E flat here. So it's a G, C, and E flat. And you just play each twice. Um, and that's over in your left hand, a G. B, C, G, octave, B, octave, and C. Um, and so it goes like this. And the B is with the G, B, D as well. So G, B in the left hand, G chord in the right. And then you jump up to a C minor, which is the G, uh, C, E flat there, with a C in the bass. there many different things is where that comes in um, and it's a B flat in the left hand and an A flat D flat and F in the right kind of a nice chord and then it goes and then you just move your second finger down so you move your second finger down to the C here and play an F octave in the left hand and that's a B flat octave in the left hand over the I mean under the A flat D flat and F and then a flat C F over an F. Okay? Then it goes back to. And that's. But now I know. 
um, that line. And that's a G, B, D over a G, and then over a B, and then the C, and then with a G, C, E flat. And this is where it gets a bit tricky. up to the chorus so that's like building for the chorus um, and really all it is though it's not as hard as it seems um, it just walks up like this it is every it's a um, you know one three five in that uh, I don't know what that is actually it's inverted so it's different but anyway to be uh, break it down for you in the left hand it's just F octave G octave A flat octave and A so it walks up and every it hits every note except for the G flat. So F, G, uh, A flat, and A. And then the chorus is B flat, so it keeps going. But for now, it's just F, G, A flat, A. Okay? In the left hand. And then in the right hand, over that, you'll go to an A flat, a C, and an F. Okay? And you're hitting those three notes. And then you lift and move up to... Um, a B flat, E flat, and G over the G. So again, A flat, C, F over F. And then B flat, E flat, G over G. And then up again to A flat in the left hand, and then a C, E flat, and A flat in the right. And then just to an A with a C, F, A. All white notes there. Okay, so again, F. A flat, C, F, okay, G, B flat, E flat, G, A flat, C, E flat, A flat, and then A, C, F, A, all white notes. So that's played. And that's the chorus. Um, so please, just fall in love with me this Christmas is that line in the B-flat here that we're going into. So review that last part, um, the modulation up to, sorry, B-flat. It's very gospely that uh, run there, it's nice. Anyway, so then it gets into B-flat, which is just um, uh, in this hand. So it's gonna be B-flat in the left hand, and then D, F, B-flat. together. Okay. And then you keep the same, uh, so it's D, F, B flat twice, and then E flat, G, C twice. D, F, B flat. So it's okay. And that's so please just fall in love with me. That's that line. goes to an E flat, G, and a B flat. Um, and then it goes to this weird E diminished seven, um, which is, uh, so you'll be playing the E flat, G, B flat first. That's the first note of the measure, I mean first chord of the measure. And then it drops to an C sharp, or a D flat, um, an E, and a G, and a B flat. Fits over this E, and it fits in with the song. It doesn't sound good now, but it fits. Um, so again, the E major, E flat major chord, and then you add the C sharp and drop the E, and so then it's C sharp, E, G, and B flat. Okay, and then it's C, E flat, A flat twice. So that's all you hit. And with the left hand, that sounds like this. sort of that part's gonna be and that's this Christmas um, is the line that's over that so the chorus uh, excuse me I didn't do the left hand there so it's E flat okay and then it moves up it's just walking up to an E um, over that E uh, under that E diminished 7 so E flat in the left hand E in the left hand F G A flat A right hand on the F and the A flat and then it goes back to the D 
F, B flat, and B flat in the left hand, first chord of the chorus. Um, and then that repeats, so. Okay, and then it changes and does the won't be wrapped under a tree, I want something that lasts forever. Um, kiss me on this cold December night. Um, okay, so we're gonna uh, play, just go through this last part, won't be wrapped under a tree, which is after the, um, there's nothing else that I will need this Christmas. Um, so then it goes into, I won't be wrapped under a tree, so it's... what the song ends on. But uh, this won't be wrapped under a tree part it goes B flat, so D, F, B flat. C minor, so a C and a C, E flat, G. And then it's an E flat over a G, so it's a B flat, E flat, G over a G chord. I mean octave, excuse me. Um, so. flat chord, so A flat, C, E flat, A flat, and A flat octave in the left hand. And then it goes back to the E flat over G, so G in the left hand octave, and then B flat, E flat, and G. And then it goes and resolves to the F minor 7, F in the left hand, and then A flat, C, and E flat. And then I keep that, uh, the uh, a flat, C, and E flat, from the F to the B flat in the left hand, um, and then it goes back to an E flat, which goes technically into the intro part that we worked on. But if you want to end it there, it'll just be an E flat, G, B flat, and E flat again, over an E. Okay, I am aware that that was very confusing and a lot to process. Um, I got a bit confused even teaching it. So uh, if you need uh, any help on anything, write comments and message me and I'll uh, try to sort out any issues. I will post a link to the music um, so that you can be looking at the same music I am. Um, yeah, so I know there's a lot to do there, but um, j just start with the you know intro, get that down, move into the uh, verse, which is e pretty easy and then finally work towards the uh, pre-chorus and chorus because that's the most difficult part. But yeah, just keep going back and working on it and if there's any questions, which I'm sure there will be because that was confusing, um, please just leave those or write to me and I'll get back to you if I can, all right? Uh, so I'll just run through it one more time and that will be it, thanks. <laughs> Other than that, you've got that down. Um, from there, I'm sorry, it goes and it modulates up.
sorry for that mix up there at the end, but I totally zoned out for a second and lost my place. But anyway, uh, again, any questions, let me know, and uh, good luck. Thanks for watching.